Well, hey, Shalom, my name is Eric Robinson, and I've been teaching the Torah in one way or another for over 10 years, and I have learned a lot along the way, and I'm sharing that with you because I wish somebody would have shared it with me in the very beginning. So today, we're going to talk about Genesis, Bereshit, chapter 2, where it's speaking about the Eden city. In the city of Eden, he created a garden. Out of the garden flows one singular river that splits into four rivers, and then those rivers go out to water the land of the day. So what does that mean exactly? Where are these rivers today? Where are they located? What did it mean back then? And they write books on this stuff, and yet so many people miss the simplicity of what Yahweh was trying to show you, but you're going to get it today. Are you ready? Let's check it out together. Genesis 2, 10 through 4. 14, this is where it states a river, singular, flowed out of Eden, the city of Eden, to water the garden inside of the city. And there it divided and became four rivers. So here's our significance. The first one is the Fishon, and it is the one that flowed around the whole land of Havilah. So Havilah is a key stop on the way to Egypt located right down in the lower left-hand portion of that map. So what you should be seeing already is that the river in the garden of Eden breaking into four, the first one waters the land of Egypt, a major superpower of that day. Let's check out the next three. The second river is the Gihon. It is the one that flowed around the whole land of Cush. Now, there's so many arguments on this particular one because which land of Cush is being referred to. And the simplicity of it you're supposed to see is, is that this river went out to water the land of Israel. Let's go check out the next two. The third river is the Tigris, which flows east of Assyria. And the fourth river is the Euphrates. Now, what is significant about these two is that one went out to water Assyria and the other went out to water the land of Babylon. So this is what you're supposed to be receiving here. One river waters the land of Israel, and we know who gives Israel their strength and power, Yahweh. But then you have the other three rivers that go out to water the land land of Egypt, the land of Assyria, and the land of Babylon, all marked with these three arrows on the map. So this writing here in Bereshit chapter two is directly in the face of all these other nations saying, hey, you think you're so superior, that your lands are so great, that your garden cities are so majestic. Did you know that all your power comes from our God, our Elohim, Yahweh, because there is a river that flows out of his garden city that splits into four. Those four rivers water all of the earth. The imagery, the four corners of the earth, those waters water all the earth, showing all power comes directly from the most high of Israel, Yahweh, thy Elohim, the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now, did you think the Garden of Eden was just on flat ground? I mean, that's the way many people think of it. Well, you have another thing coming. If you want to hear about the the Garden of Eden and where it was located and how these rivers would flow down and water the earth, you need to go and click the teaching in the description of this video or go click somewhere up in here. All right, bless you. See you in the next one. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to the King. I am power.